Listen up. Conditions allow it today, it's in our favor. Why is it probably a good idea to go high pressure today? Slippery, slippery. Put, them on the put them under pressure, it's hard to control the ball when they pass it. You can do that, okay? So they're trying to play out the back. Once you go, when's the, when's the right time to make that run, to make high pressure? If he's got good, really good possession of the ball and spread out and balanced evenly, maybe we sit in. But if the goalkeeper's throwing the ball out for the full back as that ball's traveling, that's when you go, right? If he's made a bad pass, that's when you go. So all I'm asking you to do, Charlie, is this. Not to run around the whole field. If the ball's in your neighborhood, if it's in your zip code, and let's say the zip code is about this big here, right? 30 yard circle, that's your zip code. If the ball's in your zip code, you go flat out. All right, all the way, flat out. Pedal to the middle, okay? So when it comes in your zip code, you go flat out. When it's in your zip code, you go flat out. Can up top, you go flat out. So everybody committed to doing that. That's number one, all on the field. We're gonna defend here to the halfway line. Make sure we're not getting caught too flat. But what I mean by that is that when they get it, we want the, the field to be as small as possible. The smaller the field, the less work we have to do. We don't want them to stretch us out. So we want to keep them near half the field. The only way we want to do that is relentless, relentless, relentless defending up top. Understand that? You don't get a choice to make. Either we go hard up top, okay? Or if you go lazy up top, your recovery runs in midfield are going to be from there to there. Let's make your choice. Do you want to make a 60 yard run to get back? Or do you want to press 30 yards? What score goals are scored under three passes? Okay, why is that, do you think? Catch them off guard. The more passes you take, what does it give them the opportunity to do? To set up. So the higher we press, the chances are we're going to win it closer to their goal, which is going to take us fewer passes to get shots on top. All right? So, the other thing, that if we're doing this well, if we're high pressing well, what are the signs that we're going to see if we're high pressing well? Hold on. Mistakes. We're going to see them making mistakes. We're going to see them kicking the ball out of play. We're going to get corner kicks, right? Desperation. We're going to get throw-ins. We're going to kick the ball out of the throw-ins down there. Hey, we're going to start arguing with each other. Come on, let's get going. Bring it in, boys. Yeah, let's get a win today. Why not?